Today, we will talk about the use of slicing software of our Sandy model printer. First of all, open the slicing software. This is the main interface of the slicing software. Let's start with the main interface. Here is the product code of the printer. This is material and nozzle size. Choosing PLA and 0.5 毫米 nozzle size will be fine. Click standard quality to set printing parameters. Click custom to change parameters. We can see all these modules here. Click this arrow, then we can see all parameters. The above buttons are prepare, preview, and monitor. We will see the printing route when we click preview after the slice. Next, let us import a model by clicking open file. Import the model which we need. Dragging the model directly into the slicer will also be fine. Let's zoom in. It has a rabbit. Select the model. There are some variables on the left menu. The first button is move. We can move based on three axes. The axis can go down only. It will automatically return to the platform when lifted up. Right click and click center selected model. Then it will be back to the platform center. For example, we can set Y axis to be 50. The second button is Scale. We can change the model size here. The left is the size in millimeter. And the right is the scaling ratio. For example, if we revise the scaling ratio to be 200, then the model will be two times bigger. If we click Uniform Scaling, all three directions will be scaled by the same proportion. If we cancel the uniform scaling, then the three directions will be scaled independently. We can also drag some axis to scale. The third button is rotate. The three colors represent three directions. X-axis, Y-axis, and Z-axis. The three buttons are reset. Lay flat and select face to align to the build plate. Reset will turn the model back to the original statement. Lay flat will recognize the bottom and flatten the model automatically. Select face to align to the build plate can select a face to align to the build plate by yourself. The fourth button is mirror. Left and right mirror image. Front and back mirror image. Up and down mirror image. The next two buttons are support blocker and custom supports. We'll talk about that in support module. So we are not going to talk right now. Next are the parameters. Click standard quality. We can see lots of parameter. There are many modules such as quality, shell, infill.
open them up first. Loss of parameters. In fact, we don't need to set all the parameters, leave many of them in default. The first is the quality module. The quality module has layer height, initial layer height, line width. The nozzle size we are using now is 0.5 hm, so we set layer height and initial layer height at 0.2 hm. Line width is consistent with nozzle size at 0.5 hm. All are consistent with 0.5 hm. Wall thickness is in the shell module. The relationship between wall thickness and line width is that the wall thickness divided by line width is equal to wall line count. Let's slice it first to see what the wall thickness is. Click Preview. This is the wall model. Wall thickness is the thickness of this wall. For example, E divided by 0.5 is 2 turns. Bottom layers and top layers. Let's go to the bottom. We can see that it is not completely solid inside the rabbit. The infill density is 百分之十. The number of bottom layers means the layers at the bottom. It means how many solid layers at the bottom. After these solid layers are finished, it will print upwards to the top. It can recognize where is the top of the model automatically. We can set top thickness and top layers according to real requirement. Take this rabbit for example. The interior is not completely solid. We can prevent the top from leaking by setting top layers. I'm going to slice top layers with Ling. In this case, we can see the inside feeling from the top. It looks ugly. So we usually control the top cover by setting top thickness and top layers. Your army delimiters will be fine for the top thickness. After setting the top thickness, the top layers will be calculated according to the layer height. For example, E millimeter divided by 0.2 millimeter is equal to 5 layers. Same for the bottom thickness. Let us set E millimeter. Here comes the infill. We will talk about infill density. We saw that the interior is not completely solid. It will become completely solid if we change the infill density from 10% to 100%. We can adjust the infill density according to our requirement. For example, for animals of exhibition which don't have high requirement of toughness, we can set the infill density at 10%-20%. And for those which need assembling or installing, we may need to set the infill density at 100% to increase the toughness. Anyway, the higher infill density is, the more printing time and more filament is needed. So we need to decide the infill density properly. Now comes the material. Different filament adapts to different printing temperature. We usually set 215摄氏度 for our Mamla model filament. But we need to set higher temperature such as 220摄氏度 or 225摄氏度 if the ambient temperature is low. 
两百二十两百二十五 ，set 四十到五十度 for the build plate temperature. We can set 四十摄氏度 in summer and set 五十摄氏度 in winter. Speed is adjustable too. We can set print speed and infill speed at 四十毫米 s, but other speed such as 三十毫米 s or 五十毫米 s is also fine. Regarding wall speed, the printing effect will be better if it is slower, but the printing time will be longer. We usually set it the same as print speed and infill speed. That is 四十毫米 s. Here comes the travel. We usually set the retraction distance as 五毫米 and retraction speed as 六十毫米 s. If there is thread during printing. It means that the retraction distance is too small. In this case, we have to set it bigger. Here comes the support. We can see that this rabbit is small. It can be printed without support, so we just don't T set support. There are three types of build plate adhesion. Skirt brim raft 一个一个来 We will introduce them one by one. In the case of skirt, you can see there are three laps around the rabbit. It can help level the printing area. What as more? It can help clear the remaining filament in the nozzle from last time as printing. In the case of brim, it will print many laps around the rabbit. There is no gap between laps and rabbit. 十六 laps are too many, so we can set it to be 五 laps. It can help avoid the edge warping and help the rabbit stick better with the platform. In the case of raft, it prints a raft under the rabbit. It can help remove the rabbit from the platform easily after the printing. The parameters below can be set as default. Then click slice. We can see the printing time and weight in the bottom right corner. Besides, we can two bars: a vertical bar on the right and a horizontal bar at the bottom. The vertical bar shows the layer change, and the horizontal bar shows the nozzle route. Finally, click save to file. Name the file as you want. Please notice that the file name shouldn't be in Chinese, because the printer probably can't identify a file with a Chinese name.